Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please take over. Hey, how are you doing, Mr. Yap? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. Yeah, happy new year okay. to you. <laughs> yeah, happy new year to you. Exactly, it's the first time I'm featuring this year. Uh, right. um, a pleasant evening to everybody, or should I say, afternoon or night? It depends on where you are on the face of the planet. My name is Mr. Victor A. Moave, aka Orpheus, and I'll be sharing my story with you briefly um, to encourage members that have joined this Zoom call this um, time, as well as those that are new, to give them some source or some reasons to join us. I'll just give you a little brief about myself, uh, but before I do that, I also want to appreciate the speakers so far. Um, all the speakers that have spoken have done very well. We have two Namibians and two Nigerians. Alex is going to be speaking after me. It's only Mr. Kalunga that is a bit different from him. <laughs> doesn't have a pair. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure the double stem cell is a pair to you. Now, uh, who am I exactly? Um, my name is Victor Emova. I hail from, the, from a state called Delta State in Nigeria, but I lived in Lagos all my life from a family of nine. Um, I'm the fourth born in the family. My father, very, very strong disciplinarian, taught us one of the most important thing about life is about getting educated. So most of us spent our time being educated, making sure that we get the basics. It's called the education is a legacy. Fast forward from that time, I was able to get into University of Ibadan, where I studied for about four years and there was a strike. So it took me five years if I could finish up. I went for service. And of course, the next thing I would be is to get a job. I didn't get a job on time. I got a job as a teacher. I taught for about six good years. And to tell you the truth, I was underpaid and overutilized. At a point in the business, I was, I was actually looking for another job, a bank job. I took time. I had to sneak out of the office. <laughs> so when I snuck out, I came back. My boss got angry and said, where did I go to? I was like, okay, I went somewhere to do one or two things. He told me he had to sack me. Yes, I was told to leave. And I felt, okay, fine, no big deal. Uh, there's nothing wrong with me looking for something else for myself. I can't be here all the rest of my life. One thing about life is about taking risks. And I, did and I, I didn't feel bad about it. I left. But the, the, what I observed was this. When I was living that teaching um, environment, when I was about to drop what they call handover, I was handing over the things that I had been doing in that school, I was shocked to the brim. I was, I was shocked. I never knew I was doing more than necessary. By the time I began to bring out all the things that I was doing, one here, one day, I was like, wow, is this all the work that I've been doing in this school? And how much are they really paying me here? So I didn't really feel bad leaving. When I left, I uh, went home. A few days later, I, had, I got a call. They were calling me back. Uh, the students were crying. They wanted me to come back. And I was like, man, I never knew I was this nice. So, but my sister told me not to go back. I went forward. So from there, I went to the banking industry. I was there for 10 years. Then something struck me when my wife got involved in this business in 2017. I decided to take a, take a look at it. And the, the VIP that's going to speak right now, Alex, sent a, a, a video to our um, WhatsApp group back then in 2017. She might not know this. She may know. She might have forgotten. I even played it this afternoon on our TV. And that story changed my life. I decided to resign my job full time and join Fighter Science. Fast forward from that time, but before I resigned, when I worked, I'm not saying working is bad, but there are some things that people want to achieve in life, they have difficulty in achieving them. There was no time for myself. I was looking so good, even though I, I thought I was looking good. I was having health problems and the target was never stopped, it never stops. Um, there, were, there was post office politics every now and then. I didn't have time to get closer to my goal because I was always thinking about my target every single time. And when there are launchings in the branch, in the church, in the churches, or maybe there's a family meeting and they're asking us to put down money for one or two things, I will have no money to put down. It was quite demoralizing. I could feel the pain in my heart. And I was like, what exactly is happening to me? What am I doing? And deep down inside me, I knew I could give more to life, but I didn't know what to do. I don't know what vehicle to take. I'm a soft mind, who's a black diamond in this business. Uh, when she got involved, I decided to also join the bandwagon. And 
from 2017 for fast forward to that time to date, it has been a very beautiful experience. Today, I'm a diamond. I've earned over $30,000 only from bonuses, excluding the profit that I've made in the business and been able to touch a lot of people's lives, been able to help people to grow in the business and achieve some of the things that they want to achieve. It's actually a, um, it's a progressive um, experience. It's not like we've gotten to the end, but so far, so good. Things have been far better than they were. I have time for my family right now. A lot of time. I mean, I can travel to where I want to travel to and I earn good money. I work more. I mean, I work less now, but I earn more. I work more building up people. And recently, last year, Fido Science in Nigeria was able to take us out. Uh, it took us, let me just show you this image. Because of time, I want to show, I will show you so much. So this is um, the speaker that's going to speak very soon. That's her there. That's Alex. So, and that's soft mind, and that's me. We had a very swell time when we went to, um, and we had Marriott, sorry, speak backwards. We, we had a fun time, that's soft mind and myself. And that's us, we really, really had a swell time, I must tell you. And that's myself, my wife, and my little daughter. Life has been very beautiful and test. Life is about risk taking. A lot of people are scared because they, they seem to focus so much on the things that may not even come to pass. If you are here today and you are a member or you are joining us for the very first time, you are yet to decide, please don't second guess. Fido Science has one of the best compensation plans in the world, products that are next to none in the world because we deal with stem cell products, not just supplements. Stem cells are referred to as the future of medicine and we have plant-based stem cells. Please, if you are here today, um, it's not about too much talk. It's about you reaching down into your heart and asking yourself, what I am doing today? Has it been able to get me to where I want to? And if not, why not try something new? Why not look at others that have reached out and are, reached and are achieving their dreams? We will not offer you $100 billion every single day, but we'll offer you something of great value that will not make you just to earn money, but will also make you to reach out to people's lives, touch their hearts, raise them to become better persons, to be grateful, and to become useful persons, in not just in the society, but in the entire world. Thank you very much, Mr. Yap. God bless you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Victor from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for your wonderful sharing and your wonderful yeah. journey as Phytoscience, right? How Phytoscience has changed your life from uh, like what our one of our leader, Hirojit, say last time he was a zero jit. And now he's a hero. G. <laughs> hero. Well, you are, you are the Nigeria version. <laughs> you are the Nigeria version of hero. G. <laughs> hero G, are you there? Are you agree or not? <laughs> Thanks. In appreciate. India, we have uh, we have we have uh, Manipur hero. G, and we have a Nigeria hero. G, which is a Victor Diamond of Vital Science. <laughs> Thanks okay, so shall much. We all give, yeah, shall we all give uh, Victor? Uh, of Nigeria, our diamond, a wonderful, wonderful appreciation.